So Bangladesh is one of the most vulnerable countries in face of climate change. Climate change increases the intensity and frequency of natural disasters. So coming to the natural disasters, Bangladesh suffers from two major types of natural disasters, which is sudden onset event, flood, cyclone and river bank erosion falls within this category. And the other type of climatic stressors are the slow onset events like change in precipitation or temperature or the salinity intrusion in soil and water. I am Rwanda has recently conducted two projects relating to disaster risk reduction and building resilience. The first project aim was to increase the livelihood opportunities of the affected communities to lessen the reliance on self subsistence farming. This was done through vocational skills training in various trades, such as art craft, mechanics, knitting, etc. I am Rwanda has also provided a disaster training for those affected communities to raise their awareness. The other project focused on providing vulnerable populations with resilient shelters. The reconstruction and rehabilitation were done by using quality construction materials and building in safer places to ensure the principle of building back better to withstand future disasters. Because of its remoteness, even though the country has a robust disaster management plan, the disaster management committees in the district as well as in the sub-district and union level, their capacity is limited. On the top of all these limitations, actually the 2016 and 2017 huge influx which makes this crisis is the largest humanitarian crisis globally, it puts enormous stress on the existing mechanism. We conducted a baseline survey which gave us an in-depth understanding of the vulnerability of the targeted communities. This enabled us to tailor our DIR programs that fit the local context. The community-based DIR, as well as training to primary school teachers on DIR lessons, is designed to provide communities with the requisite knowledge and tools to understand DIR issues, to enhance the Office of National Security's capacity to effectively respond to disasters. We purchased non-food items and constructed a warehouse that housed these items, which will be used during response to disasters. IAM adopts an inclusive approach when it comes to working with the most vulnerable of uh, members within the host and Rohingya communities. We are looking at some of the most extremely vulnerable cases that are there because of various vulnerabilities that are existing or are emerging as such. So just to give examples, we are trying to identify households uh, that are headed by uh, single women. Uh, we are working with uh, gender-based violence uh, survivors. We are looking at uh, 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 the segregation of different kinds of vulnerabilities, be it in terms of age or special needs that might be there because of physical conditions. So there are various parameters that we are looking at to identify the most vulnerable and then that's where we are targeting them as a, on a priority basis. We are the, the first agency who have been transferred all the international standards to the local partners. And so then still our the recognition as a key agency on managing camps or in uh, community centers are very valuable for our partners. IOM as a global migration agency brings a unique perspective and value addition to the global efforts of reducing disaster risk and build resilience. In Bangladesh, disaster management regulatory framework is well defined. There are separate ministries and line departments and disaster management committees who, who oversee the work related to disaster preparedness. IOM strengthens the capacities of these disaster management committees at all three layers district, sub-district, and union levels. In district level, I am working to assist the, uh, what we call as the Diara Forum. Diara Forum in sub-national and district level uh, consists of not only government, but also the civil society organizations and private sector. The main work of the Diara Forum is to uh, mainstream and advocate the Diara issues uh, in the government. So, in the end, the goal is to include the DR issues in the regional planning and as well as the regional uh, public budgeting. 
Now we are in the main warehouse of Harem Hedi where we have stored some emergency relief commodities to assist disaster African families after a living. We need to understand that Harem Hedi has warehouses in four areas. Not only this one in Paul Prince, but we've got another warehouse in Lekai, the, the third one in Capaïtien, North Department, and the last one in Atibunid, Gunai. At the capital level in Dhaka, we try to work with the policymakers and trying to influence the policymaking process. And we believe that through improved policy, we'll be able to affect the people's life in Bangladesh.